today's talking point from your official guide to being a good Republican. Talking point number 502. George Bush is a really great shot. Yes, I know, friends. It's a rough day for propaganda. I mean, how can you win when Navy SEAL Team 6 conspires with the Obama re-election committee to put two bullets in the head of the guy behind 9-11? So here's what you should be telling your friends, co-workers, the Internet, everyone. George W. Bush took out bin Laden personally, and he was back clearing brush in Texas before breakfast. Now, nowhere should any credit or mention of the name Obama come up. Our field of wannabe presidential candidates took the lead in this one. Well done, friends. At some point in time, someone will bring up the fact that George W. Bush had seven years to get the guy and didn't. Of course, we all know the dividends, having a scary guy like bin Laden on the loose, running around and not captured or dead paid. Or at least you should if you still have your Exxon, Halliburton, and Blackwater stock. Finally, our friends the birthers had an entire weekend of feeling despondent that theirs might actually be a lost cause. Presto! We found them a new cause! Osama bin Laden's body was not tossed in the ocean. He isn't even (laughs) dead. This whole thing was written on a computer in the Democratic National Headquarters. And SEAL Team 6? Well, they were given four loco drinks laced with authentic Wasilla crystal meth (laughs) to make them think they killed the guy. You know, it's a little rough, but the birthers are now the deathers. They'll run with it you'll see remember united we stand divided we win in 2012 priority people that's today's talking point from your official guide to being a good republican Uh, it is true as i understand it that some information that came from normal interrogation approaches in guantanamo did uh, lead to information that was beneficial in this instance uh, but it was not harsh uh, treatments, and it was not waterboarding. Wow. Donald Rumsfeld. It is true that some information that came from normal interrogation uh, approaches at Guantanamo did lead to information that was beneficial in this instance, but it was not harsh treatment, and it was not waterboarding. I am shocked, I tell you. Shocked. I, I am just shocked that Donald Rumsfeld had a coherent statement ever in you know the history of Donald Rumsfeld. That sentence is not only the truest sentence Donald Rumsfeld ever said, but I'm sh- I'm, I'm definitely positively sure it's the shortest one he's ever said.